Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure you're wondering what you're looking at right now. Um, I am coloring my hair. Now, let me explain something to you. I, um, zoom in here. I haven't covered, colored my hair um, since 2003. That was the last time I colored my hair and I was relaxed when I did it. Um, and that was the last time I used a commercial hair color to do it. Um, since then, the only times that my hair actually attained any kind of color is from um, a red henna that I had because I have a, a light to dark brown hair color. It looks black when it's all pushed together, but you know, in actuality, it's like a, a dark brown. And then in the summertime, it takes on this little reddish hue on its own. This is not color added when it does it. It just does it. It lightens on its own, and I think that's just, you know family background and hereditary and genes and stuff and my hair is the only one that does that so um actually my daughter's hair lightened but their father's hair is lightened um his hair lightens in the summertime too and that's not us being out the sun so um my husband looks at me he goes you know i love you and I, says, I love you too and he says you have a lot of gray and I said, I know, you know, my mom went gray at 25, and I started going gray at 30. So, you know, it's, it's pretty much hereditary. In my case, it can be some stress added on to it, and, um, you know, some health reasons. I'm hypoglycemic, so, you know, that can cause you to, you know, start getting gray hairs early. And um, heart condition and some rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know if rheumatoid arthritis has anything to do with going gray. But in the end, you know, I pretty much chalk it up to hereditary. My grandma went great early. My mom went great early. I went great early. We great early. Um, and he said he didn't like it. He said, I don't like it because you don't, you know, you don't look like you. You start to look like your mother. To which I said, okay. Um, I look like my mother. I can't get out of that. You know, <laughs> she birthed me. I look like her. Um. Not that much like her, but I think hair-wise, I understood what he was saying. I had had my hair in um, flat twists, um, braided back for over two months. And he got tired of looking at it. And the more he looked at it, the more it looked like, you know, my mom when she didn't do anything to her hair. So he, um, he bought me one box of Garnier Fruit Cheese. Um, it is my natural hair color. Um, I didn't go with anything flashy. I don't want to lighten my hair. I just want to color to gray. That's it. Okay. Um, and then um, I, I started, you know, trimming my hair. I always trimmed my hair back in 2003 when the last time I colored. Um, I trim my hair before I color because then I don't want to have to go and do it afterwards. In this case, I started trimming my hair because I needed to. My ends need to be trimmed badly. You should have seen, like, they call them popcorn ends. I had them really bad. So I had to trim my hair, which really got easier the longer my hair got. So it was pretty cool. Um, and um, while I'm trimming my hair, I'm like, you got a lot of hair. Hmm. One box ain't going to do it. It's not going to make it happen. So I had to go wake him up and go get a second box. Now, as for a product review, they say that this stuff is supposed to smell good. It does not. It does not smell good. It's hydrogen peroxide, which is, you know, the same peroxide that you go and, you know, if you scrape your arms or you have a cut, you go and you clean the wound with hydrogen peroxide with the peroxide. It's the same stuff, so, you know, it's not going to be that bad for hair. It's the other stuff in it that will probably be really bad for hair if I colored all the time, which I don't. I, I colored on virgin hair, literally. So um, that should be okay. The second thing is, is that it's pulling my curl pattern um, out some. I know you can probably see it. Let's step a little closer here. Did you see how it's elongating my curl? And that's... Um, it's not a bad thing, really. Let me try and get this side without the camera. There we go. I'll zoom in there for you. Yeah, it's not the. It's not so much as a, a bad thing. Um, but and and I know it's not gonna stay this way because I I actually like it the way that it looks like here. You know, I can still tell that I have four B, um, textured hair, and um. It's just a looser curl pattern. If I wanted anything for my natural hair, I would just want a looser curl pattern. Something like this. 
that's fine. And it looks cute this way, but it's not going to stay this way because it's about to be rinsed out. So we'll do like a mini um, review on it. And um, it stinks. It's not as natural and as good for your hair as you say, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only natural person that, or the first one to put a commercial hair color in their hair. I mean, I did what I have to do. When I go back to the East Coast, I'm going to um, stock up on the henna at the Hindu shop that's um, in Delaware and get my stuff from there and bring it back here because I haven't found a place here in North Texas that, that has um, henna. And I don't want to order it offline. Take too long to get here. By that time, I won't want to do anything with my hair. So, Garnet Futis cost me $6.94 per box. With tax out here, it came out to $7.41 per box. So, $14.82 total. Yeah. It stinks so bad. I mean, really, really bad. It stinks. But I'll let you know if this curl pattern that's going on here, this this looseness, if it hangs out. If it hangs out, then I'll know, you know, not to, to do my hair um, as often if I have to stick with this color. Um, I'll know not to do it every four to six weeks, probably every eight weeks. Because I don't want to pull, I don't want my hair to straighten. And, you know, contrary to popular belief, some hair colors... Um, do have the same ingredients like sodium um, per, uh, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide to um, color your hair and those are the same things that are used in you know some lye relaxers to um, straighten your hair and so that's why I'm not getting that much of a, a pull out because it's hydrogen peroxide and um, that's cool <sighs> I'll let y'all know how it goes I like the look though. I don't think it's going to stay this way. Alright, I got to get ready to rinse this stuff out. I'll let you know how it goes. Later.